It is Monday, October 11th, 2010. And this is going to be the last video that I make from Denmark. On Thursday, I'm flying back to Seattle. Um, I'm shipping all my things. I'm canceling my cell phone. I'm closing my bank account. I am moving. I am leaving Europe. And uh, <laughs> it's been a really interesting couple of months since I made this decision coming up to the point where um, it's actually happening now. It's been actually happening for a while. I mean, I, um, I think big transitions like this take time, like, like moving like this or going through gender transition, and, uh, it feels like either nothing is happening or everything's happening all at once. And that's really... It's just the nature of these things, and it's, it's annoying at times. Unless the changes are very good, and then it's really rewarding that when the changes are difficult and stressful and draining, it's just really hard. So I, I remember something that my father told me once that was, try to take things one day at a time and see, you know, just do what you need to do to be happy today. You can't do everything. So just focus on the big picture in the back of your mind, but, but really live your life for today. And, um... I feel like I learned how to do that in the first couple years of my transition, my gender transition. And that has just helped me so much um, going through this, this move. But I'm, you know, I just keep my eyes on the prize. I'm going to be surrounded by my family, back in, with a lot of my friends. Um, and I'm also going to be, I'm going to be driving my own life. There's, there's no people that I've known in my older generation of people that have told me that just be prepared, Sam, that sometimes you can't do these things anymore. You can't just take these big risks, even if you're unhappy, because you have responsibilities that get built up, and, and the more situated you get in the place, then the sort of more rooted you are, and the harder it is to uproot. Um, and they've said that you know life starts to run you. You don't run your life anymore at a certain point. And I always really disliked that. I never really want to feel. I never want to feel that I'm not in control of my life. I always want to feel like I can make decisions for myself, for what's best for myself, uh, no matter how drastic they may be. And um, and this move has definitely been part of part of that expression of staying in control. It's been my way of staying in control. And. Uh, you know, it's been hard. I'm gonna be, you know, it, it's 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 affected my my personal life. It's affected my my band, and you know, I'm choosing to be around people that I can put more faith into regarding my transition. I'm going back to see my therapist regularly, um, and I'm going back to talk to doctors that I know about and uh, doctors that have more experience with trans people than the doctors here in Denmark. I mean, there's there's one really fabulous doctor here that I'm, I'm kind of sad to, to lose touch with him. But I'm going to be back um, in a place that makes me more comfortable, honestly. 
so it's affected me in all these different ways, and I guess I sort of feel that impact, or I, I feel it, I feel it stronger now, leaving this place, than I felt it initially leaving Seattle to come here. Like, leaving Seattle was pretty, pretty simple for me, actually, because it was the beginning of my gender transition. I basically already destroyed the life that I had with my, with my ex, um, because we were done, and, uh, so, reality as I knew it had kind of fallen apart, and it was really just a matter of rebuilding it in Denmark. But now I'm, I'm basically taking a hammer to my reality here, and I'm gonna have to start rebuilding it back in Seattle. And that's, it's gonna take me a while, you know, these things take time. Yeah, I, I think I talked about it in my Tranny Star video a couple weeks ago. I am pretty much desperately in love with a woman, uh, amazing woman, and yeah, we met um, not too long after I decided to leave, after I'd committed to leaving. And so we've been together for a couple of months, and now she's, she's not going to be in Seattle, and I am. Um, so in order to sort of have our last hurrah, not our last hurrah, but in order to have our own little celebration, um, I went on vacation and she took me to her hometown of Italy and just, I'd spent a long time, I spent this last week touring around Rome and Florence and Venice and then just saw just a little tiny bit of Milan. Not I didn't really get to explore Milan at all, but I got to see all these places in Italy. But it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> I had been planning since I got here, I'd been planning this big European tour, like over a summer. I was gonna take like three weeks and travel around all these different countries, Germany, Spain, um and, and uh, Holland, and, um, I don't know, I forgot all the other countries in Europe, obviously, because I'm drawing a blank right now, France, I wanted to go to Paris, and, and I, and I had wanted to go to Italy as well, but just as time went on, that trip never happened, and then, it was just really nice to have this sort of, it was fairly last minute, this trip to Italy, um, just Italy. So that was my, that was my European tour. I'll have to come back for parts two and three and four later, later in my life. Um, I think that I've said before in videos that there have been lots of times when I feel sort of like I don't really fit as a lesbian. Like I don't really, like I feel like an outsider or an imposter. Like if I went into a lesbian bar or just a group of lesbians, like, I didn't, I always felt like I was a little bit awkward, like, I didn't quite belong, because, you know, just, I've had this tendency to focus on the differences than the similarities, um, but truthfully, after having, after having this relationship, this is really my first relationship with a woman as a woman, so this is like my first lesbian relationship that I've had. And, um, so I don't, I don't really feel that awkwardness anymore. I, I feel, I told my girlfriend this, I said, I kind of feel like my, like that I'm justified as a lesbian. It's like, it's like I've had my first lesbian relationship now, or I'm, I'm having it. And it's not just about the experiences. I've had experiences, but it didn't really help me. So... So uh, I, I don't really have a point uh, other than that, 